Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Ab Sister Wig. And today I'm gonna to be showing you this kinky straight skin melt lace frontal unit. This one does have a 13 by six parting space area. The density on this one is 150%. And this is also 20 inches in length. This unit comes with your two combs on the side, a comb in the back, your adjustable strap, and it also has the removable elastic band. Now you can definitely rock this unit straight out of the package if you want to because there's really not much to do to it. But I did go ahead and wash mine using my Aussie Moist Shampoo and Conditioner and I am really feeling the texture after it has air dried. Want to show you guys what that cap construction is looking like again. I am leaving my removable elastic band off just because I don't want it to bother my ears when I put it on. But this is an average cap size. It is a bit big on my head. They do offer small, average, and large on the website. So just make sure you know exactly what your cap size is so it can fit you correctly. Now this does come with a pre-plugged hairline. I did not have to go in to do any extra plucking. It does state that this is an all tied hairline, so it gives off a clean, delicate, and natural look. To make it look more realistic, you can definitely see a little bit of my cap in the front, which I am going to push back. That way it won't show when I put it on. And then I want to show you guys what the parting space looks like. As you guys can see, it goes back pretty far. Now, of course, the further you get to on the side is where you are going to end up running into that track, but I usually never part that far over, but the scalp part is looking good. As you can see, I am gonna have to go in on the side by my ear and cut off a little bit of that lace because I want this to match up exactly where I need it to be. And I'm gonna push that cap back and use a little bit of my wax, push some of that hair back because it was getting underneath the lace and just kind of getting in the way. So I'm just gonna push that back a little bit before I work on cutting off this lace. Now with this lace, this is an upgraded real skin melt Swiss lace. So it's supposed to be able to blend into all skin tones. As you guys can see, once I cut it off, it started to blend in really well. And I'm gonna pick it up and put it back down so you guys can see. And also I'm gonna run this rat tail comb underneath. But so far it is looking good before I add any adhesive. I'm gonna be using my Olive Oil Fix It Hole Spray. And this is just going to help lay the lace down without having to use any glue. I am having to work right there in the middle a little bit more because it was a little bit big right there and I did not want this to bunch up, especially once the lace dried down. So I'm making sure to take my time and use the end of that red toe comb just to kind of smooth out the lace. And then I'm going to go in and work on the sides and then I'm gonna use my blow dryer to speed up the process. With this fix it hole spray, it dries down really well and I also don't have any issues with it flaking up. Before I begin to work on this hair, I'm just gonna place that elastic band around my hairline and then I begin to work on combing out this hair, just getting any snags and any shedding out for me cutting into the lace. Now you guys see how nice and full this unit is. They do offer 130% on the website in density and then they also offer 180%. I feel like this 150% is good. I don't think I could go any higher, but it's just definitely up to you on how full you want the hair to look. So now I'm just going to flat iron this hair and I did about two passes through the hair and you guys see how nice and straight it is getting. I don't even have my flat iron turned up to the highest setting. So if you want it a little bit more sleeker, you could definitely get that look. On one side of the unit, as you can see, I'm getting more of a silk press vibe. And then on the other side, I'm getting a blowout vibe. So I feel like they both look good. It just really depends on the look that you are going for 
that day. So I'm just going to remove that elastic band and just kind of comb around the hairline where any of the hairspray may have gotten on. As you guys can see, it's looking really good so far. I'm not mad at it at all. And then I'm just going to go around the hairline again with the wax and then use my hot comb just to press everything out. Today, I am going to opt for a middle part. I love me a nice sleek middle part, but you guys know this is 13 by six. So you're not just stuck with the middle. You can definitely part this on the side. My hot comb does go up to 500 degrees and your girl was definitely press, press, press pressing because I needed this to lay as flat as possible and towards the back area is where I noticed it was looking just a little bit humpy. Once I am done with that, I'm going to go in with my powder just to kind of open up the parting space a little bit more and give it more of a scalp-like appearance. And then I'm just going to lightly go around the hairline area. I'm not going to put too much powder because I feel like not a lot is needed at all. There were a lot of shorter hairs at the top of this unit, so I had to go in with the same spray that I used to melt the lace down to get them to lay down because they were being very, very stubborn. So this is how it all came together. I am loving the final look. This hair is very thick, y'all, but I am not mad at it. I'm also not mad at this hairline and the parting space. Nice to know that you're not gonna have to go in and do any extra work, except for if you do want to end up pressing out the unit a bit more. But like I said, you can definitely wear this straight out of the box. Now, I did not want to just leave you guys with a straight look. I also wanted to leave you with a wavy look. I'm just grabbing pieces and wand curly this hair. I'm not really perfecting anything. But of course, if you want a more polished, put together look, you can always go in with a smaller barrel. I personally love the wand curl look on kinky straight hair. I love the texture and just the waviness of it. Yes, the curls do end up dropping a bit quicker than your typical body wave hair, but that's okay. I feel like it still looks good. So after I'm done curling this unit, I am gonna end up adding my sleek and shine serum just to control the frizziness and flyaways. This unit, I did experience a little bit of shedding and also some snags. And then of course the shorter hairs that I talked about that needed to be laid down at the top of the unit. But let me know which look you guys are loving. Are you liking the sleek look or are you liking the waves in this hair? If you are feeling this, I'm gonna make sure to leave the links down below. Guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. So can you take me on a